A lot of diesel engines from the 1970s uh, rely on these thermostats to uh, aid cold starting. A uh, simple device, there's a filament that heats up and a valve that opens when it's hot and allows diesel to uh, drop through so that flaming uh, diesel goes into the intake manifold. I replaced the one on this old tractor here and the tractor isn't uh, starting any better than it was without it. Uh, now the ones I bought were these cheaper ones and uh, so I've bought a genuine uh, Delphi uh, thermostat to see if they're any better. The only visible difference is the genuine article has a uh, nichrome ribbon uh, coil in it and the uh, cheap ones just have a wire coil. So let's see if there really is a difference. So I've rigged this thing up with a jump lead and uh, I'm going to turn the ignition on for uh, 30 seconds and see what happens. The ammeter's uh, showing 20 odd amps so that uh, tells us that the thing is drawing current. It's glowing red now. And a little bit of flame. Now I'm still keeping this button turned. So we'll let that cool down and uh, then I'll try the genuine one. Same experiment now with the genuine one. On and drawing current, more smoke straight away. And much, much more flame. That's what we want to see. It's still burning uh, when the thing is turned off. Right, the tractor wasn't starting very well, uh, so let's see if it starts better with this new thermostat, the genuine one. Turn the ignition. The ammeter tells us it's drawing current. We'll give it 30 seconds or so. the answer. A genuine thermostat does the trick. Now you don't just have to count the seconds, you can actually hear the flame when the thing starts burning and that's the time to start cranking. The thing that destroys too many of these thermostats is a faulty 50 year old ignition switch. The spring goes, uh, you forget to turn the uh, then I'll start off by turning the switch back a bit and uh, then the thing continues heating and burns out. So it's a much better idea to wire them into uh, uh, a push button and a, a relay and uh, then you're in control. As soon as you let go of that button, the thing is off. I hope this video helps you and thank you for watching.